Well, they have to face reality. Because I think, like I said, as a survival and coping mechanism, mm. we've all been like, it's fine, just keep going, keep going, keep going, business as usual, but in a Zoom online world, we're all working from home, but it's business as usual. I'm open for business, LinkedIn, yeah, yeah. business as usual, yeah. business as usual. It's not, it's and not. it's not going to be. And if you're not already sitting down with your leaders, with your advisors it's and a, saying, yeah, yeah. how are we gonna make it through? Okay, well, I have a view on that. First of yes. all, as far as dealing with um, your current bubble and reality, yeah, I think every leader. This is a lesson. This is a, a note to every anyone in a leadership management role anywhere. You need a fresh mandate. You need to reset your mandate. What I would call an interim strategy. So you, whether your company or your, your, your business has got a good strategy or not up until now, it's worthless right now. Yes, throw it away because. <laughs> And, and there's, <laughs> but some of the parts around values and that shouldn't necessarily change, but the actual mechanics of your strategy well, and what yeah, you're aiming, the everything's why, on its head, right? everything's upside down, right? And your team are no longer the same human beings right now. They're temporarily not the same human beings they were three, six, nine months ago, right? right? So you need to build, get, create an interim strategy. If you are a leader and you are somewhere up the chain of command, you need a fresh mandate. You need to go and test your mandate with those that you report to. You need to go and say, here's my interim strategy right here. These are the four or five things. This is why I'm doing it. Yes. This is what I'm aiming to achieve. Give me a stamp on this because I need this to be able to go and secure what we're looking to yes. secure, right? Yeah. You, need to be able, and you need to be able to sit here and go, um, I need authority to hire because as much as four other divisions in this business are struggling, mine's growing. I need authority to hire. I need it today. Yeah. Right? And you need to go and get that. You can't sit and wait and hope and lose three months. Anyway. Decisions too. Yes, very and It's hard. funny, the 11 year old, my 11 year old was talking about, we were talking about this and he was saying, well, what's the moral decision? And it was really interesting that an 11 year old would think of a moral decision in the context of a, of a business Absolutely. issue. And what he was saying is, that from. It, is it better to um, try and keep everybody on but then maybe the whole business goes under in three or six months time or make really hard decisions now about cutting your workforce to a manageable level and keeping the jobs of the 70 remaining 70 yep, percent yep. and also being able to pay out redundancies and entitlements to the ones that you do let go i don't remember being that detailed but <laughs> it, 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 yeah, about redundancies and how their balance sheet okay well maybe i'm you know but th this is interesting because every single person is going to make a decision and they're going to weigh up pros and cons in different ways so you know you've got to look the what did what did you say the other well, day? Well, there's the tiger two, two in the things eye, you have to Christian. look in the eye. You have to look the tiger in the eye, and then you have to look the devil in the eye. They're the two <laughs> things you have to always look in the eye: tiger in the eye and the devil in the devil eye. Devil in the eye is easy. So I think that you're absolutely right about but, you've got to make like there's no there's no no hard decisions at the moment. Everywhere you yes. turn, you've got to pretend for a moment that you're in the premier shoes, and, 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 and yes. there's no good decisions. And if it's getting to your desk now. It's, it's a dirty decision regardless, right? And you're going to have to look at yes. uh, the lesser of two evils. Um, and you've got to, like, from a redundancy point of view, you try and make those redundancies while your balance sheet can support it and you don't end up in a position where you can't. Pay and and this is the thing. You can't just think about riding out this short period of time when you talk about yeah. that interim strategy. Yep. Yep. It might be a six or 12-month strategy. And part of that is this headcount issue. That's a big issue. It's a big issue because uh, what about teams? Because Christian, I know I can see um, your thing has fallen out, and so you can't hear Super can't Producer hear, Rick. We've yeah. got four minutes. Okay, thank you, Super Producer Rick. I can't hear you because my earplugs <laughs> falling out. Um, I think I got too excited. Um, Engaging teams. Yeah, this is big. This is a sticky wicket at the moment because, like you say, there was a lot of goodwill around the early yeah. lockdown. Oh, Zoom drinks. Yeah, yeah, Zumba parties and. <laughs> Whatever else people were doing, I don't know what normal people do. What's but, a Zumba uh, party? I have no idea, but uh, someone mentioned it somewhere along the line. But right now, I, I don't care who you are, your teams, they're no longer engaged. They're no longer the same human beings that they were. They're in a they're in a, an alternate reality. And whether they enjoy, people will still be enjoying working from home, that's fine. There'd be, there'd be a mix there. But you're going to have people in, in certain circumstances where they're working in a share house at the end of a, a, a bench. You're going to have people with multiple children of school age that they're trying to teach as well as you have people who have um, partners who are frontline workers and they're living in yep. constant concern for them and, and all so sorts thinking of about our, our discussion about 
the Victor leader of Victoria and Victorians, what was it that, you know, the communication strategy is the big piece? It is. And how, how leaders are going to do it? Well, you first you have to know where you're going and you have to make a decision on where you're going. You can't sort of keep playing for time, yep. I don't think. Well, you can, but I think there's a risk if you keep playing for time. People do you tell them everything? Not stu- no, you don't tell them everything. Never tell everyone everything. Never tell anyone everything. I think there are things as a leader, it's a good time to be a bit vulnerable. Yes. It's a good time to give a bit more than you normally would because people are hurting and they're not bloody stupid. They can work out when you're trying to fudge yes. and misdirect, yes. right? So you have to give a little bit more than you normally would, but there's no point giving them things that people can't control. So yes. you give them the things that they can control. You refresh their mandate. You remind them why they're involved in the business. You remind them that they have your confidence. You remind yes. them that you're right behind them. And that even if it's going to get rocky in some industries, that you're going to back them all the way as yes. far as you can, right? As hard as you can. I think another thing that's at risk right now is innovation. Yeah. A lot of companies that are very innovative. Now, if you're in the tech space right now, there's no reason why you can't continue on rocking in a lot of areas. But there's companies that will be getting smaller. Yes. And you've really got to give them the confidence to push forward that innovation. Yeah. All your clients, if you're in any industry, are going to be looking for innovation over the next 12 months. That's true. The whole game is reset. You can bring whole new ideas start to again. your industry. Not necessarily start again, Laura Aki, <laughs> but off a good base, you can decide to say, we're just going to go and chase some new things and, yeah. and bring some new ideas because the client, if a client is you're dealing with you now, thank you, dealing with you now and into the next year, you know that they trust you. Yes. So reward that trust and bring them something. Bring them you something. You can't keep doing it how you've always done it. That's over. Yeah. Right? Okay. 